The last days of the legislative session finished with debate over budget estimates. We have been working on building out our primary care networks. Spending on the new Royal BC Museum, which has a price tag of $789 million, emerged late in the session after it was announced last month. Opposition leader Kevin Falcon, who was elected as an MLA and returned to the legislature, wasted no time focusing on the huge cost. So mark my words, Friday, May the 13th, is the day that the NDP really have signed their own death warrant as a political party. If they continue to go ahead with that, this will be their fast ferries and this will bring their government down. The issue seemed to steamroll over significant changes to lowering childcare costs, building more infrastructure, bringing in home buyer protections and dealing with climate disasters, including flooding and wildfires. Our government's doing everything we can to deal with the issues that matter to British Columbians. The opposition is going to do its job, uh, which is to ask questions, and our job is to govern in the best interests of the people of this province. The attacks on the government's performance were two-pronged, with a crisis in health care growing. Doctors and nurses both heading into contract negotiations held rallies demanding action. The shortage of family doctors and long lines for walk-in clinics had the Premier on the defensive and losing his cool. Do you want a headline or do you want action? Oh, As we head into summer, there are concerns over wildfires and flooding. Political parties are also focused on a possible by-election in the coming months for Surrey South. It's a test for the NDP government and the BC Liberals' new leader. Mira Baines, CBC News, Victoria.